guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a good day. It is rainy here in Chicago. Um, I know I haven't uploaded on this channel in a really long time, like three weeks, but this video will explain that all. So I'm going to do this and try it out. This is going to be my very first story time video. And I hope you guys like it because I really have nothing planned because I really can't do much and once again, I'll explain why. So let's get into story time, shall we? Pull up a chair, pull up a pillow, get comfy. Two weeks ago, I managed, not really knowing how, to slip and fall just walking. And I broke my arm in two places. I did a hairline crack on my pinky side here, and then on my thumb side, if you're looking at my x-ray, the bone was like, on my thumb like your radius bone. It's called a distal radius fracture, but mine is a complete break. Um, so a distal radius break. So <laughs> I didn't totally feel, my, and this is like my cast right now, I didn't feel a lot of pain when it actually happened. All I remember was getting up and trying to brush, like, myself off. And, like, my wrist was just, like... And there was a giant lump, like, by my thumb. Where the bone had shifted and popped. So, it wasn't until I brushed myself off and my wrist was kind of, like, flapping like this. Where I was, like... This looks... And I held it up and I was, like, this doesn't look right at all. This looks nothing like it should... Oh my god. Went to the hospital. They got me in really quick. They did x-rays. Um, and my mom had to meet me at the hospital because I knew I probably wasn't going to be able to drive either way. Like, I knew I had broken something. Like, there was no way that you would see this and not know. I will insert a picture now of what it was when I was on my way to the hospital. And if you are someone, this is a little bit of a warning, if you are someone who doesn't like photos of injuries... Um, fast forward a little bit. Um, they're not horrific for photos. They're not blood. It's not gore. Just the healing process of a broken arm, basically. Um, they're not, like I said, they're not gross. There are some other stuff, and I'll explain. So anyways, got into the hospital, x-ray. The nurse came back and said that they needed to numb my arm, like this part of my arm, because they needed to try to set the bone back in place and I'm freaking out because I've never been this injured in my life um and I'm like okay <laughs> so they gave me the shot which hurt a lot but not horrible not unbearable um and they said okay sit here and wait now I was in like a, an ER bay like behind a curtain they're like sit here and wait for like half an hour and that'll spread and it'll numb your arm. And I'm like, okay, great. You know, thanks. So in between them, my mom comes, my mom has made it to the hospital now and has come in. They have brought her to where I was. And no lie, she comes in and is like, oh, it's okay. They've numbed you. You won't feel anything. And my mom's broken both her arms pretty bad. And she doesn't, she felt no pain when they set both of them. Um, and they were at the same time too. She's like, okay, well, you won't feel any pain. I'm like, okay, great, because I've had enough pain for the day. Um, and true to her word, I had, I didn't feel any pain at that moment. Um, the stuff had worked its way through my hand, and it wasn't hurting. Like, I could move my fingers. I could kind of lift it a little bit. I mean, it was still, like, floppy, but I could at least, like, lift it. And I didn't feel any pain. The second they came in, and said, all right, we're going to try to set it now. The second they pushed, I f it was like my arm was on fire. And I have a pretty high pain tolerance from stuff that I've had done, like knee stuff and all that. Um, so I have pretty high pain tolerance. That was the worst pain I've ever felt. And they couldn't get it the first time because I, I, like, literally screamed. Um... So they, they went at it a second time, and I didn't look. 
And I managed to tough it out as long as I could before. I was like, okay, stop, that hurts. Um, and I just kicked my legs, like, just remembering. They wrapped it, which I'll insert a picture of what it looked like when it was wrapped now. Um, wrapped it all up and put it in a soft cast where it's where it's fiberglass on the bottom, just like an ace bandage. And that um, allows for swelling and de-swelling. And they did the second set of x-rays that wanted to see if it was in place. They said that it was straight, but not in place. So regardless, I was going to have to go see an orthopedic surgeon. Because he was either going to pop it back in place and cast it for six to eight weeks. Or, if he couldn't get it back in place, I was going to have to have surgery to fix it. That terrified me. So all weekend, which was Easter weekend, by the way. Piece of fluff. Yeah, that's all I thought about it. it. Ruined like my Saturday, it ruined my Easter. Well, not all of it, but like I was just I was sore, I was in pain, and then I had to deal with the fact that my, and and I had to take time off work, which is not ideal because I'm going in three days to Florida. Um, so Monday, my boss told me, "Don't worry about it. Go to your doctor and come talk to us after, and we'll we'll take it from there." And I'm like, "Okay, great." So I go to the doctor. They do their own set of X-rays. And he comes in. Now, this is the doctor who also put my mom's arms back together when she broke them and did her surgery and stuff, um, which is much longer than mine. Um, so he comes in after looking at the x-rays and basically is like, yeah, we could put it in place pretty easy um, and we could cast it. But because it's in such, because it's like right here and when your thumb moves, it moves like that entire section of your hand. He was like, I'm not necessarily sure that it's going to stay in place. So he basically said that he thinks I, he thought I would have benefited from having a, uh, the surgery. So I went into surgery the next day because I don't want it to start to heal and they don't have to like re-break it. So I went into surgery the next day. And he put a plate and nine screws in my arm, in the break to hold it together. Now, I shouldn't have any issues with that later in life, unless, like, my arm changes or I start to feel it or whatever. But um, they're basically, they can say that they don't have to come out. They don't have to uh, remove it unless it starts to bother me, which is a very small percentage of people. So I'll always have this. Pretty much. Um, surgery went great. Um, I was then in a clubby cast, as I call it, and I will sort of picture of what that cast looked like. See, none of these are really graphic, it's just a cast. Um, I will insert a picture now of clubby as I dumped him. I had him for a week and I went back to work two days later. I had surgery on Tuesday and went back to work Thursday. So all in all, not that bad. Um, went to work Thursday. And then was in the cast Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday went back to the doctor to get the cast off. And I was so ready. I was so over having my arm immobilized. This at least I can use my hand and I can remove it. It's a removable cast. Um, I was so ready to have that done and over. Um, they took all the dressing off and showed me what my arm looked like, and I literally started crying because mentally I had prepared myself for it not to look very pretty, and it actually didn't look as bad as I had pictured it, but I was not prepared for the staples, and I'll insert a picture of that, or the bruising. I have a lot of bruising on this part of my arm, which is normal. He said that's totally normal. He said everything was healing great. Everything looked amazing. So, basically, I have no restrictions anymore other than I can't lift really heavy things, but I basically have no restrictions anymore, which is great. Um, so, all in all, the staples kind of threw me, the bruising kind of threw me, all of that um, was fine. process of teaching a joint slash appendage to redo things is not fun. Um, I'm in a removable cast. They refer to it as a brace, but it is a fiberglass cast that just kind of like they cut like the middle part out on the side so I can take it off. Um, 
it's taking me a long time to be able to do like this motion and rotate it and go like up and down and side to side in that way. Um, it is very, very stiff. Um, I am not sure how long it's going to take me to get full use back of it. I am guaranteed full use back. There's no reason why I shouldn't because nothing with that was really affected. Um, I have no nerve, no muscle damage, so that's all good. I have no pain anymore except when I'm, like, working it. And that's not so much pain as it is just, like, being very stiff from keeping it in this most of the day. Um, so all in all, um, it's been two and a half weeks. I go tomorrow, Monday, to get the staples out, which I think will be a huge thing. Um, I think that'll be very freeing for me, and I'll be able to move more without them pulling. Um, I get the stamps out tomorrow, then Tuesday I go on vacation to Sunfest. So, all in all, you know, in two weeks, it's, it's been a, it's been a good two and a half, it's been, it's been a two and a half weeks. Um, but I'm, so, I'm, I'm actually really, really, really happy, um, I had it done, because he came out and told my mom that, um, once he got in there, he saw that it was worse than he thought from the x-rays, and that it would have never stayed together in a cast. Um, and also not to mention that Monday will be two and a half weeks and Friday will be three. And in three weeks, I've broken the bone, had surgery, gotten the cast off in a removable brace, gotten staples out, and all and, and I'm at like 50% back to movement. So I think three weeks is better than six to eight weeks. Um, it's like half quarter of the time. Um, so basically when I come back from vacation on the 9th, I should be good to go back to work. I can now do a thumbs up semi. So yeah. Sorry this video is a very talky video. If you liked my story time, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be vlogging in Florida, so there will be more vlogs coming on my second channel. I will link that below as well as all my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat. Follow me, tweet me, you know, all that good stuff. And like I said, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your notification bell if you haven't already so you know when I post videos. I am back and better than ever, and I am ready to do these videos weekly again. I just needed two weeks to deal with this because I had a giant club on my arm and couldn't really film, and I can't even do my makeup, which excuse the bare face. So I will see you guys in a couple days when I come back from Florida. Bye!